so hello and welcome back guys so guys in today's video we will make our ticket system more advanced so first of all i made some changes in our database well i just added in logs property and i fixed the max property the default value will be 69 and type is number i don't know why i made it boolean last time but anyways let's move on to interaction create 3.js this is our ticket system thing which controls our stuff so we have to make small changes first of all make sure it is like this panel data.name and now i added some more if checks first of all this thing which checks if user have any of the band rules and the second one to check if user cross the maximum ticket limit you can copy paste the thing if you want it is just a simple array method called sum it just checks for each and every value if any of the values condition is true it returns true so anyways that's how it works and now let's go to the main command so first of all i added few more options like first of all this log disable option it just disables the ticket logs by default it is disabled of course and it is just a normal slash command option i told you about this in older videos and then we added one for log enable and of course we are taking the panel name and the channel where they want to enable i mean where they want the logs then we have moderator add and moderator remove then band band add and the band remove and the maximum ticket thing so you can see we have damn lot of options for this slash command so let's go ahead so I will start by creating one for in disabling the logs it is pretty simple well let me just do this so that you guys can focus on the thing alright alright so first of all else if command is equals to logs disable so if the log disable command is used first of all we will check if the data exists if data do not exist just say you do not have a panel with that name and we already set up all of this above let me show you well as soon as the command is executed we are differing the reply and then we are getting some data by the way guys make this and let use let before the data thing otherwise it will not work because i made some changes in this video anyways then we have the command thing name thing the channel thing now i added the role thing and the limit thing these two are new all, all right you can just see we are just getting the role and the integer from the options all right so it is pretty simple let's just move ahead so in our log disable thing we are just doing a simple thing if data do not include just reply to them otherwise just disable the logs by setting the value to zero and just tell them that we disabled the damn logs pretty simple and in logs enable first of all we are checking if panel exists or not if no then it do not exist and then we are checking for the channel type if channel is not equals to guild text just say channel should be a text channel and then just find one and update the channel and say them that the channel is updated for ticket log and stuff pretty simple all right then comes the moderator add command well i'm i'm not writing all of this again because um i don't know well you can understand this so first of all we are checking if the user do not have the moderator role like sorry first of all we are checking if the panel do not exist if do not exist then just say them that it do not exist otherwise we are checking if the moderator list already have the provided role and private role is equals to role all right so if the role is already there just say this role is already a moderator role and then we are just gonna update the data and we will say successfully added this shit as a role and stuff and here comes the moderator remove thing first of all we are checking for the data if data do not exist reply and then this moderator thing if moderator thing do not include the role id this means that it is not a moderator role so how are we supposed to remove it so we will say this role is not a moderator role otherwise we are just gonna use the pull function and we are gonna pull this moderator id and if you do not know about pull function i mean this pull thing you can check out my mongodb video or the advanced one and then we have the band add it is all absolutely similar we are just checking for the band property and band removed is absolutely similar to moderator remove and we are checking for the band property here and now comes the last one max ticket so what we are doing here is we are just <coughs> i'm sorry so we are just checking well first of all we are checking if data do not exist return if the limit is less than one or greater than thousand then just say the limit cannot be less than one or greater than thousand otherwise just update the limit 
and tell them that we updated the limit. Pretty simple and straightforward. And here comes the else function. This means it is in ticket close, delete or reopen command. So first of all, we are fetching the data using this function. Data is goes to away ticket dot find one ticket data dot panel. And then here comes the real deal. Now we need logins. So first, so if a user close the ticket, we will add the log. So let me show you. We will just send this embed. Well, you can for now you can just copy paste the embed. What I'm doing here is I'm just sending an embed with title ticket closed and the stuff like panel, user, ticket, and then an empty thingy, and then the moderator role, and then the ticket reopen thing. We are saying ticket reopened. And by the way, guys, make sure that you are sending this embed after sending this reply because please trust me, it will work. And we are using this simple function interaction.gale.channels.cache.get and we are using the data.logs property and then this question mark dot. So it will do if this property exists, then send, otherwise do not send. Pretty simple. And then we are doing the same thing in the delete function. Pretty simple and pretty easy. So and if you guys want to know what I'm doing in embed, it is just first of all, this is just a simple message and the embed and inside we have an array. So I have just defined the array. I just defined the embed in this object. First of all, I gave the property of title, then the timestamps, then the field. And this is it. Pretty simple. The fields includes the name and the value and inline thing. You can do this thing via this new message embed thing too, but I don't like to do that. So I do, I did this. And anyways, you can copy this part from the GitHub and I will make a video on message embeds real soon. And I guess this is it. I guess we did or I showed you all of the new stuff. So you can see everything is set up. Now, let me show you if all of this works or not. And if you are getting any trouble in this video, just comment the thing on YouTube. Right now, I'm not online or Discord, so I cannot reply there. So let's show you real quick. No dot. So first of all, I will just create a ticket panel by doing slash ticket and create panel name will be hi because it is pretty simple to type hi and then we will just do ticket and first of all I'm set going to set the maximum ticket property to 1 and then we are gonna add the moderator role let me show you ticket moderator add and let's do hi and role will be monarch because why not and then let me add the band role ticket and then band do please band role add and role name will be admin because I just want to show you that everything works and let me do ticket start panel name is high channel is the same channel bot comments enter and by the way let me enable the logs to ticket logs enable high and channel will be the bot commands channel bam so you can see this thing is set up let me create a ticket real quick bam and now you will see that i am banned from the panel so let me unban myself by doing band remove panel name is high and role is admin pretty simple and now let's create the ticket and you can see it works now it created the ticket and it even logged the thing and if i close the ticket you can see it will work and if i reopen the ticket let me do reopen and if i delete the ticket it will log everything i will show you all of that at once boom so you can see it logged each and everything and we can disable the logs too ticket logs disable panel name is high bam pretty simple and now what well i guess everything is done let me show you all right let me show you one more thing that the moderator role thing works so as you can see ticket 2 is created let's go to settings permissions and you can see the monarch role is added all right monarch role have send message permissions oh sorry it have the view message permissions and i guess this is it and let's i guess this is all we added all right let me show you the ticket limit thing too if i click on create ticket once more and it will not create the ticket and it will say I made the I reached the maximum limit thing and I guess this is it for this video all right in the interaction create 3.js you can see I added this small thing at the last this is the logging thing it will log 
this embed new ticket is created in the data.lux channel pretty simple and by the way make send it below the channel.send thing so thanks a lot for watching and if you want me to make a video on custom messages in the tickets you can tell me and if you want to make if you want me to make anything just tell me i will make it as soon as i am free from my stuff and thanks a lot for watching bye